hard to copy. Yeah, this one's junk. Not only did it blow the fuse, it melted the glass on the fuse. Now I know why the uh, original fuse was ceramic wrapped. Same capacity, just uh, the grandmother had this going for about 15 minutes before it went pop, so I figured it just overheated a bit. Apparently not, since as soon as I plugged it in, it worked, and then as soon as I hit the start button, uh, everything just went pop again. So there you have it, the inside of a microwave. And there's really no shielding on the back side of the magnetron to keep your uh, microwaves from coming out the side. That's what that little piece of uh, aluminum foil on the inside of the uh, <coughs> cover is for. Doesn't that just make you feel dandy? But, uh, you can salvage this. Lots and lots of copper, some uh, thicker gauge wiring here that I kind of like. You can use that for one of my crazy projects. A few new uh, pressure switches, you can always use those. A nifty little fan there. That might come in handy for something. Or I could just take the money and scrap it. What I could really use got that beautiful heat sink. Very, very nice heat sink. And it looks like we got a bridge rectifier right there. I'll have to look up the part numbers. We got one. It's hard to see that one, but we got two voltage regulators on that board. Now this is an inverter generator, uh, excuse me, inverter microwave. Never took one of these apart before, so this is kind of all new stuff to me. I've taken apart the old ones before, made an EM cannon out of it. Wish I wish I had taken a video of that before I salvaged that for another project. So I have no idea how an inverter microwave uh, emitter would work. I'm not going to risk killing myself. There you have it. Panasonic. Everything on this on this is made in China. Except the part that matters. <coughs> the uh, magnetron unit is actually made in Japan. I guess they had a few too many... Uh, Problems with the uh, the Chinese ones. Can't get a good look in there. But, oh, time to start destroying her and taking her apart. Cheers.